All right, gonna show you something very shocking. Apparently the Catholic Church Catechism actually says that Muslims and Christians worship the same deity, okay? And by Christians, they're referring to Roman Catholics. I'm not joking, you literally say that, that essentially Muslims are going to heaven. This is paragraph number 841 of the Catechism of the Catholic Church, which I have right here in my hands. Par again, paragraph number 841. It says, the church's relationship with the Muslims, the plan of salvation also includes those who acknowledge the creator in the very in the very first place amongst whom are the Muslims. They profess to hold the faith of Abraham and together with us, they adore the one merciful God, mankind's judge on the last day. Paragraph number 841 of the Catholic Catechism. They're saying that Muslims and Catholics worship the same God. Well, that's true. Muslims and Catholics do actually worship the same lowercase g God of this world, also known as Satan, uh, and identified, for example, in, in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. So that's true. But Muslims and Christians don't worship the same God. Muslims, I'll put it this way, Muslims and members of the Church of the Living God, you know, the proper term, uh, don't worship the same God. But of course, Muslims and Catholics obviously do. But why do I say that? 1 John chapter 2, verses 22 to 23. You see, the Catholic Catechism says one thing, but God's Word says another. 1 John chapter 1, verses 20 to 22. Sorry, my light's flickering. Who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ? He is Antichrist, that denieth the Father and the Son. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father. But he that acknowledgeth the Son hath the Father also. Muslims don't have the Father because they don't acknowledge Jesus Christ as the Son of God. But you see the Catholic Church Catechism, holy tradition, in other words, says that Muslims worship the same God of Abraham. Well, no, they don't. Muslims and Catholics both, both worship the Baal cookie that they eat every single day, every single week at Mass. John chapter 5, verses 21 to 23. John chapter 5, verses 21 to 23. For as the Father raiseth up the dead and quickeneth them, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son, that all men should should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father, which hath sent him. And 2 John chapter 1, verses 9 to 11. Oh, by the way, too, that also want to point that out about that verse. Muslims say that Jesus Christ is the prophet. Well, they're not. They're, their Jesus Christ is not the Jesus of, of God's word. Their Jesus is a false Jesus Christ. But they're not honoring Jesus Christ because they're not honoring the Son. They, they, they actually, I'll get into this, but the Quran actually curses those who believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. So they're not, they, when they say, oh, we love Jesus Christ, we think he's a prophet. Well, no, they're not according to that verse. And plus their Jesus is not the Jesus of God's word. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Second John chapter nine, sorry, sorry, second John chapter one, verses nine to 11. Whosoever transgresseth, transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God. He that abideth in the doctrine of Christ, he hath both the Father and the Son. If there come any unto you that bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him God speed. For he that biddeth him God speed is partaker of his evil deeds. What's the doctrine of Christ? Well, you compare this with uh, Hebrews chapter 6 verses 1 to 2, and then you compare that with Luke chapter 24 verses 44 to 47, the doctrine of Christ is the gospel. And if you don't abide in the doctrine of Christ, you don't have, look, notice how the Father and the Son, you don't have both of them. Why? Because you don't have one, you don't have the other. Muslims don't have the same God as Bible-believing members of the Church of the Living God do. They certainly have the same God as Roman Catholics, the lowercase g, God of this world, Satan, but they don't have the same God as, as born-again saints. Muslims deny, this is the part of the Quran I was mentioning, Muslims deny that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. In Quran chapter 9, verse 30, Allah, the God of Islam, the Arabian moon idol that he is, curses Christians for believing that Jesus Christ is God's Son. So, the Catholic Catechism says one thing, and God's Word says another. And again, it is true to an extent, because Muslims and, and Catholics do worship the same lowercase g God of this world. Like I said before, so I just wanted to show you guys that the Catholic Catechism is Antichrist. That simple. The Roman Catholic Church is of the spirit of Antichrist. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.